church? Well, first of all, as a ninth and tenth grader, you should have some fun. <laughs> and you should start thinking about what you should do in the classes that you're taking to make sure that you're getting the right amount of credits in order to graduate on time and that you're taking the, level, the correct level of challenge of classes for yourself. Um, parents can sort of sit and watch and encourage and encourage your children to read in preparation for those tests and preparation for classes, um, to think about who, who they are and what their interests are, but don't hold on to it because it'll change in a week. <laughs> and then it'll change two weeks after that. Uh, but just to enjoy high school, but with an eye sort of on the side for college and thinking forward. And if you, I'm always saying, if you're in a particular city and you're on vacation and there happens to be a school close by, just to walk through the campus. Don't schedule the campus tour, but just to walk through. Because then students can get a sense, do I want an urban campus? Do I want a rural campus? Do I want to be close to home? Do I want to be far away? Uh, what kind of academic interest do I have? So I don't think it's ever too early to start thinking about that, and, but, I don't, but I don't think it's time yet to go into the college counseling office and sit down and say, we need to do all of these things and we need to get on it because we only have you know, three more years. Well, you do have three more years of your, your uh, first year um, in high school. As we look through applications, we want to see that students have been dedicated to their schoolwork through high school and that they've been dedicated to their extracurricular activities through high school and not just padding in junior and senior year because, uh-oh, I better do something. So we want to see that consistency uh, through high school and to start having those conversations but to not be too anxious about it because there's plenty of time in the junior year in high school to sit down. Junior year is, is very important because that's the last full year of school work that we see before um, students apply to college. But in freshman and sophomore year, to enjoy the time being in high school, to enjoy your friends as a student, parents to enjoy your children, um, and don't be too anxious. The time will come, junior year will come, and you'll start taking tests and you will start looking at colleges and you'll see college representatives coming through and there'll be college fairs and case study programs and there'll be plenty of time to do that. It's just a good time at the beginning of your high school. Have that in the back of your mind, not in the forefront of your mind. Do your best and you know we look at trends when we're looking at high school grades so be sure that you're sort of on an upward trend as you go each year or remaining constant and doing your best in those classes and that you're in the appropriate level of those classes as well because oftentimes students will say well i have to be in these honors classes i have to be in these ap classes because if i don't i'm never going to get into college but if you're not qualified or math is not your subject or history is not your subject don't push yourself because you think you should take it take the le appropriate level for who you are and your ability in that particular area because it's better to lower that class, do well in that class, and to try to reach for those AP or honors classes and not do well because we want to make sure that you're doing well all the way through high school.